some of you are still here. This thing doesn't want to show itself. It wants to hide inside an imitation. Let's see. So, Matt, let me ask you a question. You have, you and I definitely have an overlapping Venn diagram of a love of a classic film. Turned 40 years this year. I devoted an entire uh, talk hard on it. And you did yours. And I'm like, oh, my God. I was like literally like fanboying, trying not to like make us make too aggressive of a response to push Matt away, having fleeing like, oh, my God, she's a crazy fan. I'm like, <laughs> you were like doing the thing. And I'm like, oh, my God, I love it so much. You got to go see Rob Bottin's interview on this. And when she goes, I'm like, I'm like OK, I got to calm down. I got to calm down. I got to calm down. That movie is so freaking great. Um, now that you've revisited it, speak on the level of how good this movie is. It is my best or it is my favorite sci-fi monster movie of all time. Like, and wow. I know that's okay. probably aggressive to say with like alien out there and stuff, but John Carpenter's, the thing is just phenomenal. The, the score, the, the cast, the, the practical effects, just absolutely. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, just the whole, I mean, even if like when I first watched it the first time ever, I really did not anticipate what was going to happen next. I had no idea besides Kurt Russell, right? I didn't assume that he was taken, you know, part of the thing but you really don't know the entire time like it really keeps you on the edge of your feet um r.i.p the dogs right that was sad but uh <laughs> but i mean that whole movie is just amazing from start to finish like it just sucks you and my daughter when i first had her watch it she just loved it too like especially the practical effects was just insane so yeah that's i can't talk about it enough all right well um I will try to go back and put links to Matt's thing. Um, yeah, I don't I'll, do a deep maybe dive. I'll put a, maybe I'll put the talk hard link in there too, where I did. Well, I deep dive. I mean, I'm in. I'm in the weeds with Rob Bo. Rob Bo team. For those of you who don't know, special special effects in the '80s. I grew up in this area, like late late '70s and the early '80s. Is this boom of what I've considered like uh, visionary horror, right? Visionary sci-fi, right? These guys have like. You know, Halloween is made for what three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. You know, we just did Evil Dead. I, I watched Evil Dead. We didn't talk about it, but it was made for like that as well, like a few hundred thousand dollars. Um, so Rob Bottin is one of those we don't ever talk about. We talk about Rick Baker. We talk about Stan Winston. We talk about these guys. Well, Rob just kind of flies on the radar screen, and then of course he just kind of like went off the grid. Like Rob's like, I'm out. I'm not doing this Hollywood nonsense anymore. But he and Carpenter become super good friends, and he let rob experiment and he he does, he's done these videos where he talks about using eggs and all of these different food so yes it's special effects in that um it's obviously not a monster but it's yeah. a real substance it's not cgi it's not fake so your brain has a really hard time of not being affected by these special effects because everything is always wet i always joke about rob yeah. bartine special effects they're always wet you see an eye it's going to be real wet looking it's going to look re as real as he can possibly make it so uh, i love the thing i love the thing hey max have you ever seen the thing uh no i have not oh see see 40th anniversary max we gotta get you a copy it's a really fun creepy <laughs> eerie it's based on an old 1950s you know the thing that came from outer space kind of thing with basically like a plant monster. And uh, Carpenter took the job and said, well, if I can actually adapt it, you guys will leave me alone and let me adapt it. I'll do it. And they said, well, you know, you made a lot of money doing this. So sure. Why not? And now it's a classic. It did not do well at the box office. Like at mm -hmm. all. Nope, no, it did not at all. It was the worst possible timing you can imagine. Cause you have all these big name movies like ET was out. Annie was still out. Yep. Like, um, there's a big Clint Eastwood movie out that came out. Uh, Blade Runner also came out during this time frame. So like these movies, yeah, it was just bad. It just nothing went well for these folks. And if it wasn't for the cult VHS era, I'm not sure it'd be a thing. So how many more monster Halloween type things are you doing? This month? Uh, I have about, a th I think it's like a total of 14. I have coming out total for the month. Wow, I'm trying awesome. to do at least three a week. So, and it's, it's not really long, you know, you've seen a couple mm -hmm. of them. It's just kind of quick, like, Hey, recommendations. This is why I like the movie or whatever. Just random stuff that I just thought about. Like these are my kind of go-tos that I really like to watch. Uh, so just trying to do something different for the holiday and everything. But yeah, I had to, there's no way that I could talk about, like a, a monster type movie and not mention the thing like it's had to it's like the top besides that i mean 
I've, I'm, I actually have like my top favorite or top five monster movies of all time. Cause I guess, I mean, te- I call that a monster movie. Yes. It's the only thing that would beat that I think is jaws. <laughs> I think in my opinion, that's, a, and I know yeah. it's a very like bold statement, but well, like, that, I, I'd only argue with the alien slash aliens. Like yes. it's a difficult line because technically alien to me is a far superior film, like the execution mm-hmm. and, and some of that's just a far. And same with Jaws are just far superior execution. Not that thing is bad. It's just some things can be better. Yep. You know, some things can be a nine if something is an eight and a half. Like it's OK yeah. to make them, you know, um, so. Here, I know everybody been waiting for it, right? <laughs>